Hello everyone, this is FK Make official YouTube channel. My name is Engineer Farman Khan. Today, the first comment I received from Mr. Ayaz Ahmed. Hi sir, please tell me the suction and discharge pressure of R410 in air conditioner. Sir, if you have video about R410 in English language, please give me a link. Thank you so much. So, thank you very much Mr. Ayaz for your valuable comments. Uh, let me show you what you want in this video. This is a split type air conditioner unit which has been charged by R410 as you can see on the data sheet of this air conditioner R410 and uh, it has been charged uh, up to 640 grams. So first of all I have to run this unit to show you what are the operational pressures of R410, the suction pressure and the discharge pressure. And this is the outer side of this unit, uh, the outdoor unit. And I have kept a small thermometer with the uh, rotary compressor dome to show you what is the temperature of the rotary compressor dome when it operates with R410. So here you can see and the voltmeter, the voltage is already about uh, 240 volts while the ampere on the ampere meter is uh, still zero because a rotary compressor is not yet started. So further the important thing is the two numbers of pressure gauges. Uh, one is the high pressure gauge at condenser side as you can see here. This is the high pressure gauge which shows a 260 psi g standing pressure in condenser now. And the other one is the low pressure gauge at evaporator side and it also shows a same standing pressure for R410 in evaporator. Now compressor is started already. As you see at evaporator side the pressure is decreasing while at condenser side the pressure is increasing. Once again let me show you the voltmeter and ampere meter here you can see. At voltmeter, the voltage is 230 volt, while the ampere meter shows a 5 ampere, which is consuming by the rotary compressor. Now, I will show you both the pressure gauges. First of all, I will show you the low pressure at evaporator side, and then I will show you the condensing pressure. So, this is the low pressure gauge at evaporator side, and as you can see, here the pressure is about 130 psi g and you should note it if it would be R22 refrigerant here then its evaporating pressure should be 65 R70 psi g. Now what is the condensing pressure of R410? So it is about 380 psi g and you should note once again if it would be R22 here so then maybe its condensing pressure from 250 psi g to 300 psi g. Here this is a capillary tube number 2 and one capillary tube is installed inside the outdoor side while this is a second capillary tube and it is installed to achieve the more cooling effect in the indoor coil. This is the side glass at a suction line and as you can see that how the low pressure and low temperature vapor refrigerant smoothly flows towards the rotary compressor. And now I have to show another side glass which is installed on a liquid line. This is the side glass installed on liquid line and as you can see the flow of refrigerant inside this side glass. Now this is the indoor side which is in front side and now I will show you the back side which is for outdoor unit and uh, as you can see what are the main parts in outdoor unit. So here you can see the complete PCB part behind the outdoor is placed here as you can see. Now this relay is operating which flows current to the compressor and this is the main PCB. This is a bridge wave rectifier and a step down transformer. So 
look at the compressor of this unit and I will show you the body temperature of this rotary compressor this is a rotary compressor and I have kept a sensing bulb with the rotary compressor's body and here the compressor body temperature is now about 69 degree centigrade but you should note here that this is not a constant temperature value for rotary compressor because if this compressor uses in another conditions in another place so then its temperature value can be different in next video part i will teach you about the lpc and hpc low pressure cutout and high pressure cutout switches their importance in the air conditioner unit and how they can operate it with R410 air conditioner unit. So here you can see once again at the uh, low pressure gauge the evaporating pressure is slightly increased up to uh, 140 psig and uh, the condensing pressure I think also increased up to uh, 390 or 395 psig and this is just because both the evaporator coil and condenser coils are placed in a same room so if the video is helpful to you then please like and share and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for further videos